subcooling. All right, we have the gauges hooked up. The uh, temperature probe is clamped on to the high side liquid line right here measuring the temperature of the refrigeration piping right here as it leaves the condenser. And if you remember from our lessons that we don't use our gauges so much to measure pressure as we use it to determine what the saturation temperature is of the refrigerant. So first let's take a look at the high side gauge. This is uh, actually a Lennox system with a TXV so we're going to be measuring subcooling today. Alright, here's our high side pressure gauge. What you're going to want to look at is how the, the indicator and where it crosses the pink ring so you can read the saturation temperature of the refrigerant. So it's crossing at about 93, 94 degrees. Can you see that? Right there. The way that we measure our subcooling is taking the saturation temperature as indicated by our gauge which was 92, 93 degrees and from that we subtract the temperature of the refrigeration pipe, the high side line, and we subtract that temperature from our saturation temperature. So let's say that's 93 degrees minus 83 degrees gives us 10 degrees of subcooling. Now when you have subcooling and you have proper subcooling levels, which this is, it indicates that the refrigerator the refrigerant has now condensed back down into liquid, that there's no vapor, and we have a solid column of liquid going back to the evaporator coil through the metering device. So once again, subcooling, we measure the saturation temperature as indicated on the gauge, and from that we subtract the actual physical temperature of the high side refrigeration line to get the subcooling. All right, so that is how you measure the subcooling. Now, if you go back to the interactive lesson in our course, you can measure subcooling and, and get an idea of how that all works. If you have any questions, send me an email, get on the forum and ask, and I will help you through this. This is one of the most important things that you can learn uh, in this course.